Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ blessed, Most High in Christ blessed. This is 15 Minutes with the Captains. I am Captain Amaziah. With me today I have... Soldier Mahalalil. Soldier Mahalalil. So, brothers and sisters, the topic of today is respect of persons. What does it mean? Does it mean God don't got, got respect for nobody as far as um, the chosen people um, or whatever the case may be as a Christian? Uh, Christians like to use this to say there is no chosen people. We're all one in Christ Jesus. He's no respecter of person, okay? So we're going to get into these scriptures here and crush another Christian misinterpretation of the Bible. Let's start in Romans chapter 2 and verse 11. Romans chapter 2 and verse 11. For there is no respect of persons with God. One more time. For there is no respect of persons with God. So the Bible says in Romans, the New Testament says there's no respect of person with God. Let's keep going. Let's go to chapter, let's go to James chapter 2 verse 9. Let's see some more about respect of persons. James chapter 2 and verse 9. But if ye have respect to persons... Ye commit sin. So the Bible says to respect persons is sin. That is sin, brother. Says, okay, now go to Acts 10.34. Let's go to the book of Acts, chapter 10 and verse 34. The topic, respect of persons. Okay, let's go. Acts chapter 10, verse 34. Then Peter opened his mouth. Peter opened his mouth. An apostle of Christ opened his mouth and said what? And said... Of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons. Of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons. Okay, that's three different verses, right? Three different, three different books we just read, no respecter of persons. Okay, let's go to Exodus chapter 2 and verse 24. Let's go to the book of Exodus, second book in the entire Bible. Let's see what it says here. Exodus chapter 2. And verse 24, and God heard their groaning. God heard their groaning. Who's groaning? The children of Israel while they were in slavery in Egypt. Read. And God remembered his covenant. He with remembered what? His covenant. God remembered the covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. Okay, and now what? And God looked upon the children of Israel. God looked upon the children of Israel. And God had respect unto them. Wait a minute, I'm confused here. We just read a bunch of scriptures where it said God is no respecter of persons. Then we just read that God respects the nation of Israel. Wow. Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon 4 and 15 now. Let's go to the Apocrypha. Wisdom of Solomon 4, 15. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 4, verse 15. This the people saw. And understood it not. Uh -huh. Neither laid they up this in their minds. Uh -huh. That his grace and mercy is with his saints. That is his grace, God's grace and mercy is with his saints. Who are the saints? The children of Israel. In Psalms 144 verse 14. Read. And that he had respect unto his chosen. Wow. Another verse that says God had respect unto his chosen. Who's the chosen? The children of Israel in Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Wow. So we just read two verses. Let's get another one. 2 Kings 13, 23. Why does God respect the children of Israel? Okay, let's find out. 2 Kings 13 and verse 23. The book is 2 Kings chapter 13, verse 23. And the Lord was gracious unto them uh -huh. and had compassion on them uh -huh. and had respect unto them wait a minute god has respect for the children of israel read on because of his covenant why does god have respect unto them because of his covenant because of the covenant but from abraham isaac and jacob brothers and sisters read with abraham isaac and jacob and would not destroy them Neither cast he them from his presence as yet. So that's why God has respect unto the children of Israel, brothers and sisters, because of the covenant with our forefathers. So what does it mean, respect of person? Let's go back now to Romans chapter 2. That's the first scripture we read, right? Romans chapter 2, verse 11. There's no respect of persons, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Let's start in keeping in cultural context. Let's read verse 1. We're going to read verses 1 through 11. Now we're going to find out. 
What is respect of persons talking about? Let's go. Romans chapter 2 and verse 1. Therefore, thou art inexcusable, O man. Uh -huh. Whosoever thou art that judges. That what? That judges. That what? That judges. That judges. So we're talking about judging in the very first verse. Read. For wherein thou judgest another. Wherein thou judgest another. Thou condemnest thyself. You condemn yourself. Why? For thou that judges. For thou that what? Judges. Read. Doest the same thing. Because you're a hypocrite. Okay. Keep reading. But we are sure that the judgment of God. The judgment of God. It sounds like it's talking about judging to me. Read. Is according to truth. Against them. What is the truth, brothers and sisters? God's laws. Read. Against them which commit such things. Read. And thinkest thou this, O man, that judges that them, what? that judges them, Read. which do such things, and doest the same. So you're judging somebody, or passing a judgment on somebody, but you do the same thing. Wow. Read. That thou shalt escape the judgment of God. Read. Or despisest thou the riches of his goodness, and forbearance, and long suffering. The grace of God. Read. Not knowing that the goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance. So we're all supposed to repentance, whether we are high in society or low in society, whether we are Jew or Gentile. Read. But after thy hardness and impenitent, impenitent, impenitent heart, treasurest up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. Read. Who will render to every man according to his deeds. Who will do what? Render to every man according to his deeds. So whether you are high in society or low in society, whether you're rich or poor, whether you're Jew or Gentile, he's going to do what? Render to every man according to his deeds. That's righteous judgment of God. Keep going. To them who by patient countenance continuance, and, continuance and well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, eternal life. Read. But unto them. However, unto those that don't have the patience, that don't have the honor and the glory, that's not seeking after those things. Read. But unto them that are contentious. Contentious. And do not obey the truth. Do not obey God's laws. But obey unrighteousness. You are happy in unrighteousness and sin. Indignation and wrath. That's the judgment. Indignation and wrath. Read. Tribulation and read, anguish read. up on every soul of man that doeth evil. Upon who? Every soul of man that doeth evil. Whether you keep going. Of the Jew first. Of the Jew first. And also of the Gentile. Of the Jew and the Gentile, brothers and sisters. Read. But glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good. Read. To the Jew first and also to the Gentile. So whether you're a Jew or Gentile, he's going to render to every man according to that man's deeds. Now, read the next verse. For there is no respect of persons with God. <laughs> See that, brothers and sisters? So it don't matter. It don't matter if you're high in society, you're low, you're, you was a Pharisee, you was a Gentile, you was a southern kingdom, northern kingdom. He's going to render to every man according to that particular man's deeds. There is no respect of person with God. So what is it talking about? Judging, judgment. Now, give me James chapter two, verse one, because we went to we went to James chapter two, verse nine. We read that respect of person is sin. Okay, let's read James two and one. James chapter two, two and verse Once one. Once again, let's get it in context. Let's go. My brethren, have not the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, with respect of persons? Here, what the Bible says: Don't have the faith of Christ with respect of persons. Read. For if there come unto your assembly a man with a gold ring uh -huh. and goodly apparel. Here come T.D. Jason, your church now. Here he is in a nice big old $2,000 suit. He got the nice gold watch on, the gold rings on. He's bling blinging, right? Read. And there come in also a poor man in vile raiment. But here comes another brother in regular clothing. He's a little off when his clothes, his clothes don't look as good as he doesn't have on a two thousand dollar suit like like T.D. Jakes in your church. Read. And ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing. But you have respect unto T.D. Jakes, who's got the, the two thousand dollar suit on now. Right. You look at the brother with the with the with the uh, regular power like he's he's a nobody. Here goes T.D. Jakes in two thousand dollar suit in your church. You have more respect unto T.D. Jakes. Read and say unto him. 
Sit thou here in a good place. Hey, come sit at the table with us, T.D. Jakes. You look good. Read. And say to the poor. And you say to the, to the brother in the regular clothing. Stand thou there. St you stand over there. Or sit here under my footstool. You sit over there in a corner somewhere. Go, go, go make yourself invisible somewhere. Read. Are you not then partial in yourselves? What did the Bible say? Are you not then partial in yourselves? The Bible says, aren't you partial by having respect unto somebody with a $2,000 suit on, but you don't have respect unto the brother that's, that's, that, that's not of that same stature? Are you not partial? Read. And are become judges of evil thoughts? You are a judge of evil thoughts because you are partial. Now jump to verse 9. Verse 9. But... If ye have respect to persons, if you have respect of persons, ye commit sin. That's a sin, brothers and sisters. You ain't right. You're not right in your head. You are committing sin now. Read. And are convinced of the law as transgressors. Now, give me Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 17. Deuteronomy 1 and 17. So what is respect of persons in that aspect? You cannot have respect unto a man because he has a, a, more money, more stature, more glory on this earth than another man. You can't do that. Let's go. Deuteronomy Deut 117. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 17. Ye shall not respect persons in judgment. What? In what? In judgment. In what? In judgment. Once again, brother and sister, respect of persons is talking about your judgments. Judging matters. Read. But ye shall hear the small as well as the great. Uh -huh. Ye shall not be afraid of the face of man. Don't be afraid of the face of man. This man is high in stature. You can't be afraid of his stature. Okay? He's a man with a heartbeat just like you and me. Okay? You are the, the you also have a righteous judgment against that man if he's found guilty of whatever crime or whatever sin he's committed. Read. For the judgment is God's. For what? For the judgment is God's. You know what the Bible says? The judgment, brothers and sisters, is God's. Read. And the cause that is too hard for you, bring it unto me, uh -huh. and I will hear it. Deuteronomy 16 and 19. Let's stay in Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 16 and verse 19. So what are we proving? Respect of persons not talking about, okay, you're the chosen people, and... And, and you are supposed to be the same as the Gentile, the Gentile nations, the white man, the, the, the East Indian, the African, and, and all of that. No, that's not talking about that. That's Christianity, okay? God has respect unto the nation of Israel because of the covenant of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. That's how we're going to get the kingdom. That's why God has respect unto us. Let's go. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 16, verse 19. Thou shalt not rest judgment. Don't what? Rest judgment. Now, what are we talking about again? Judging, judging, judging. Don't rest judgment. In other words, don't be partial in your judgment. Go ahead. Thou shalt not respect persons. Don't. Keep going. Neither take a gift. Don't take a gift, brothers and sisters. For a gift doth blind the eyes of the wise. The gift does blind the eyes of the wise. Now you accept that gift, what's going to happen? You're going to be partial in your judgment against that brother or sister because you took that gift. Read. And pervert the words of the righteous. You're going to pervert your judgment now. So that's why, that's what respect of persons is. Now go back to Acts 10, 34. So we cleared up Romans chapter 2, verse 11. We cleared up James chapter 2, verse 9. Now let's clear up Acts chapter 10, verse 34, what Peter said. Read 10, verse 34 again. Acts chapter 10, verse 34. Then Peter opened his mouth uh -huh. and said, uh -huh. Of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons. So that's, that's what Peter said. A lot of Christians like to use that verse right there to say, Don't worry about being a chosen people. It doesn't matter that you're the chosen people. God is not a respecter of persons, right? Okay, let's see what it's talking about in Acts chapter 10. Jump up to verse 28. Verse 28. And he said unto them, Ye know how that it is an unlawful thing for a man that is a Jew. It is an unlawful thing for a man that is a Jew, to, that is southern kingdom, to keep company. To keep company. Or come unto one of another nation. It, is, it was unlawful back then for a man that is of southern kingdom. Benjamin, Judah, Levi. Let me say that properly. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, right? To come unto one of another nation. What nation? The other, the other ten tribes, the other nine tribes, okay? It was unlawful. Remember, there was a split in the kingdom, okay? 
the Jews were the southern kingdom. The northern kingdom were called what? Gentiles. Why? Because they were doing Gentile practices. Okay? Keep reading. But God has showed me that I... God has showed me... That I should not call any man common or unclean. I should call no man common or unclean. Northern kingdom, you cannot call them common or unclean. Northern kingdom, who are the Gentiles in this chapter, you can't call them unclean. You can't call them Gentiles. You can't say repentance is not open to them. You can't respect Judah, Benjamin, and Levi just because uh, the northern kingdom went off. Because repentance was still open to them too. Jump to verse 44. Verse 44. While Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. Wait a minute. Who was Peter talking with? The Gentiles. Northern kingdom. Okay, he said what? Read it again. While Peter yet spake these words, uh -huh. the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of the Lord, fell on all them which heard the word. Read. And they of their circumcision, they of the southern kingdom, that's who the circumcision was, the Jews, which believe, were astonished. They were astonished, like, wow, what is going on here? How did, how did um, Ephraim get the Holy Ghost? How did Naphtali get the Holy <coughs> Ghost? Wow. Read as many as came with Peter, uh huh. Because that on the gen Gentiles, because that on the southern, the northern kingdom, also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. See that, brothers and sisters, the Holy Ghost was poured out on who? The northern kingdom, the other tribes. Read, for they heard them speak with tongues, uh huh, and magnify God. Read, then answered Peter, Read, can any man forbid water that these should not be baptized? which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we. You see what, see what he said? You see what he said? Peter said, hey, I, I cannot forbid that they don't deserve repentance since they got the Holy Ghost too. Read. And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Then prayed they him to tarry certain days. Now, go to Colossians 3.25. So, was there respective persons in that aspect? There was until verse 28 came into play. You can call no man common or unclean. On the Gentiles, the northern kingdom, guess what? Repentance was open to them too, okay? So you can't respect persons as far as Judah, Benjamin, Levi, that the kingdom is only for them. No, it goes for the other tribes too. Let's go. Colossians chapter 3, verse 25. Now, here's the, here's the killer. But he that doeth wrong, he that does sin, shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. He that has done wrong shall receive for the wrong that he hath done. If he's a murderer, guess what? Any southern kingdom, he's going to be judged. If he's a murderer and he's northern kingdom, he's going to be judged the same way. Whether he's rich, poor, high, sta high status in society, low status in society, you have to judge that man the same way. Read. And there is no respect of persons. You hear what the Bible says, brothers and sisters? So I pray that clears up what it means to, respect, to have respect of persons, okay? And with that, Israel, I'm Captain Amaziah. Soldier Mahalalil, and we say Shalom. Now that we see the true men of God, we are not black men, we are the Israelites. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, 
Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.